I've just got a nifty little trick for you when working with parent and children blueprints. So I have these launch pad things. I have a red one and a blue one. And the blue one is a child of the red one. And the blue one's a special one because it launches you up in the air really, really, really high. And what I want it to do is open a level um, once you're up in the sky, whereas the other ones just launch you up and you get up to a new area and you can wander around. But um, the code in this one, the blue one, is going to be, it's going to have a different addition, which is going to be the opening the level once you're in the sky, which this one isn't going to have, and this one's the parent. Um, so one way that you could do this is you could add that code to the parent and then disable it for the parent, but enable it for this one. But I just thought I would show you a cool little trick that you can do um, where you use an overridable function um, to add different code to the children. So let me just show you. Once the actor's launched, I'm just going to drag a little reroute node here off the character that's launched. And I'm just going to collapse that to a function. And I'm just going to call this uh, character was launched. Okay. And then that's going to execute after the launch. And the input pin is just going to be character. Now, for the parent, for the parent, that's not going to do anything because I don't care that it's, it's already applied the launch and that's all that I want it to do. But in the ch ch children blueprints, um, I want them to be able to do different stuff depending on which child it is. So if I open up the child blueprint now of launchpad BP, um, if I go into functions and override, I have this character was launched one, which was the one that I um, just made in the parent. Now, I can actually put whatever logic I want in here. Um, and this won't be in the parent, it'll just be in the child. So the, in my particular case, um, I just want to run a test to see if it's a player controlled character that was launched as opposed to an AI. And then if it was, I just want to open a level after some amount of time. Um, and you can't open, you know, I mean, you can't do a delay inside of, inside of uh, functions. So you can probably stop watching now if you've got the gist of what I'm talking about, but this is just how I'd apply it to my game in my specific case. Um, open level after time t. Now, the time that I want to wait uh, could just be like, I don't know, we'll launch you up for like three seconds and then I'm just going to say open level and I'll promote the level name to a variable. Level to open. Public and you know the time to wait can probably, no that can be a constant, that's fine. So now what will happen, um, I'll just put a level name in there, oops, what will happen is when the character is launched, if it's player controlled, like I have specified here, um, I'm just going to say, uh, what did I call it, open level after time t, okay, and then this will execute, and this will only ever happen on the child. Now I would show you this working. Um, but I've got a feeling my game is probably going to crash. But you know what? I'll try and show you anyway. Uh, what is the map that this is in? Celestial Trial. This one. Yeah, bro, I need a new computer. Oh my god, like... I fucking spend so much time just waiting for shit to happen. It's ridiculous. So this is my tile with my different launch pads on the top. If I just spawn myself up here, hopefully it's isn't too slow. Um, turn the light off. Oops. Uh, I just need to find one of the launch pads. There's one. All right, so here's a normal one. Launches me up in the air. Okay. Another one. Launches me up in the air. Now, special one. Launches me up really high. Waits time opens level eventually after three hours <laughs> yeah so that's how you use a function override to have different functionality inside of your children blueprints than in your parent blueprint